Once you've finished your survey, it's time to collect responses. Simply head to the tab at the top that says Collect Responses and click. It will ask you how you want to collect responses. You can create a link to share on your own. You can put in email addresses and ask SurveyMonkey to send an invitation to take the survey. You can have SurveyMonkey generate a pop-up window to put on your website, or you can share your survey on Facebook. I normally use a link and share it myself. Type a name for this link below. And hit Next. SurveyMonkey will give you several link options. One to copy, HTML code to help you make a, a link on a website, and a way to create a custom link that's easier to remember. Now I have a more user-friendly link to share. Now, I can be done here, but there are several settings and restrictions that I should maybe change. Under Settings, I need to decide if I should allow multiple responses on each computer. The answer is normally yes for us in school. The second question asks whether or not users can go back and change their answers once they've already finished a page. The next question asks whether or not you want to put up a thank you page after your survey. If you do, it will allow you to type in whatever you want. The next section lets, lets you redirect users at the end of their survey. I normally do this so that I can send kids exactly to the website that I want them to go to when they're done. You can also ask SurveyMonkey to simply close the window or go back to the start of the survey if you want students to take it over and over again. Finally, it asks if the IP address of your computer should be saved in the results. You don't need to mess with this one. Hit Save Settings at the top. Under Restrictions, you can set when the survey will no longer be available based on a date and time, how many people have taken it, by people who have a password for the survey, or by IP addresses that, that you've blocked specifically. I've never messed with these restrictions. If a couple students had to take the survey on paper and you would like to enter their results into SurveyMonkey so that you have them as part of your data, you can enter them manually using this manual data entry. Simply come in and click Add New Response. Finally, if you no longer want the survey to be accessible, you can come in and stop collecting results. When you've changed settings and restrictions, as long as you've saved your changes along the way, they automatically change your survey. Even if you've already shared this link and students are already working on your survey, if they find a mistake as they go, you can come back at any time to the design of your survey and change the questions, or to the collection of your survey and change some settings, and that change will automatically take place. This is great. Sometimes we all make mistakes, and this gives us the chance to change them on the spot and allow class to continue.